The life and sad ending of Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Claire Deschanel was born on January 17, 1980, to Caleb Deschanel, a cinematographer, and Mary Jo Deschanel, an actress. She also has an elder sister, Emily Deschanel, who is also an actress. She studied at Crossroads, a school in Santa Monica, California. It was here that she became friends with Jake Gyllenhaal and Kate Hudson. After planning a career in musical theater, she attended French Woods Festival of the Performing Arts and also studied at Northwestern University for nine months, before she dropped out to pursue acting. She landed her first guest role in Veronica's Closet, a television show, and then made her motion picture debut in Mumford, in 1999. The same year, she was also cast in the music video of She's Got Issues for The Offspring. Her second film was an autobiographical one titled, Almost Famous, released in 2000. The film was critically acclaimed but did not fare well at the box office. The same year, she appeared in the music video, Idiot Boyfriend, by Jimmy Fallon. Over the next two years, she played a wide array of supporting roles in several movies including, Manic, Abandon, and, The Good Girl. Around the same time, she formed a jazz cabaret act with Samantha Shelton called If All the Stars Were Pretty Babies. In 2002, she appeared in an episode of Frasier in its 10th season. The same year, she has seen in The New Guy, a film on the band, Suburban Funk. In 2003, she played the role of the protagonist in All the Real Girls. She then starred in the box office hit Elf, for which she also sang, Baby, It's Cold Outside. The next year Deschanel appeared in, Eulogy. She sang for the movie, Winter Passing, where her piano composition, Bittersweet, was used for the soundtrack. In 2005, she played the role of, Trillion, in, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is the film adaptation of a science fiction novel. In 2006, she worked in Failure to Launch and did four episodes for the television series Weeds. The same year, she was chosen to play the role of singer, Janis Joplin in her autobiographical film The Gospel According to Janis. However, the film got scrapped and was never made. She sang two songs in the album, Nighttiming, in 2007. Later, the same year, she worked with M. Ward on his debut album recording under the name, She and Him. Their album titled, Volume 1, was released the following year. In 2009, she was cast in one of her most successful films yet, Days of Summer, and contributed yet again, to the soundtrack of the film. She also appeared on screen for the first time with her sister, for the TV series, Bones. The next year, She and Him released their second album, Volume 2. They also appeared on the album, The Place We Ran From, by Snow Patrol. In 2011, Deschanel played Belladonna in the film, Your Highness. Here she sang, The Greatest Most Beautiful Love Song in All the Land, with James Franco. The same year, New Girl aired on television, where she essayed the lead character, and also wrote and sang the theme song. In December 2011 she recorded a popular version of What Are You Doing on New Year's Eve with Joseph Gordon-Levitt for her Hello Giggles YouTube channel. She also featured on M. Ward's sixth solo album called A Wasteland Companion. In February 2012 Deschanel hosted an episode on Saturday Night Live and planned to produce a comedy, Must Be Nice, along with J.J. Philbin. In 2009, she was cast as Summer Finn for the sleeper hit, Days of Summer, opposite Joseph Gordon-Lewitt. The film went on to collect a whopping $60, 722, 734 at the box office and was also nominated for a series of awards. Critics mentioned the film as one of the best films of the year 2009. She plays the lead role of Jessica Day or Jess in the hit American series, New Girl, which first aired on television in 2011. It was ranked as one of the most exciting new series by the first Critics' Choice Television Awards and the show went on to get nominated for a series of prestigious awards.
the pilot episode alone gathered a total of 10.28 million viewers. In 2012, Deschanel won two awards, the first one in the Best Comedy Actress category at the Critics' Choice Television Awards and the second one in the Favorite Actress category at the TV Guide Awards for New Girl. She got married to Ben Gibbard, a musician on September 19, 2009, near Seattle, Washington. However, they divorced three years later. This actress and singer are named after a character from J.D. Salinger's 1961 novella. This famous actress, singer, and musician from the Days of Summer fame was a former vegan and is allergic to dairy products and eggs. <laughs>